But hi you guys, I'm back with another reaction video. I hope all of you are great. So it's going down on April 10th, Hamza Chimai versus Gilbert Burns. And I'm betting my money on Hamza, obviously. You know, he's representing my country, fighting out of my city, Stockholm. So I'm just super excited over this fight. Arguably one of the most important nights of his life. And yeah, I'm gonna watch it. It will be like four in the morning, my time, but I thought we would check out a clip together. Uh, it's called Hamza Chmai versus Gilbert Burns. Who's gonna win? It's a clip from the Joe Rogan podcast. So yeah, let's get straight into this video and see what they're talking about. And let's go. There's still a lot of big fights to be had at 170. And the Chmai fight, if you can shut down the hype train, that will put him right in the driver's seat. Yes, Chmaiyev. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really quick that this guy has all the hype on him. And the Mearshart fight yeah, just fucking... Yeah, like, you guys introduced me to him back, like, one and a half years ago. And the attention that he's got over this short time is crazy. It's well-deserved, though. Put a candle on that cake, didn't it? Everyone's you ever watch the uh, re regional tape on this kid? Chimaev? Yeah. Oh, he's a monster. There was this dude, I uh, I was like, because people were like, he's just like Khabib. And I'm like, let me see it's how, fucking how true striking that is. is a different level. Exactly. So there was this dude he fought in, he's, he made most of his fights in Brave, which is the uh, the promotion out of Bahrain. And um, he fought this dude who was a world champion in Sambo. No, no, sl no, no bitch at all. Like, this guy is all dude. And I'm not going to lie. I don't know what Samba or Sambo is. I'm and uh, Chimaev couldn't take him down. Like, for a full round, could not take this guy down. And then said, you know what? Fuck it. Let's strike. And punched his fucking lights out. Like the mirror shot. He punch. has one punch KO power. Yeah, that mirror shot fight. And also, at 185. <laughs> yeah. He's his a power 70. Carries, yeah. That's the crazy thing. He's a 170 wow. fighter. Yeah. I mean, at 170, he's world class, I think. I mean, I'm really interested to find out. Well, we'll see. We're going to find out. I mean, physicality is one thing, but what he just said up here is, is golden. Wonder mentality. Uh, it's Dang a very, it. very intriguing this is, fight. This is the guy I was telling you about. This guy he's knocking out Gilbert. is not a chump at all. He oh. is very, very good. Fakes low, boom. Oh, man. Yeah, he's got legit power. Was this a 170 fight? I when the guy's doing the, the one arm frozen up in the air or a leg, anytime yeah. there's something frozen in the air, him and Gilbert Burns are going to have to go no. after it. Right. And that's that's going to be really interesting. I can't wait for that one. I don't know too Gilbert. much about uh, uh, Gilbert, but he looks... He looks crazy from what I've seen, but Burns is complete. You know what's amazing? Complete, uh, do you yeah. remember the uh, quintet that UFC did? Mm -hmm. I think it was like early in the the, the grappling tournament. Yeah. yeah. So it's like a five on five, mm -hmm. and it was like it was like Sean O'Malley, Anthony Smith, who were all good grapplers, and then it was like a bunch of uh, yeah. He's like three time champion in grappling. I had to look that up. Um, I forget. I, I forget who they were going against. But every once in a while, you'll see like an MMA guy, and oh, these MMA guys are usually pretty good at this point. Like not not like world class, but like they're very very good. Mm -hmm. And then Gilbert gets down there. Oh yeah. And you're like, oh right, he's one of them. Mm -hmm. He's one of the elite. He's a know, world champion, of course. But I mean, yeah. like he hasn't like, I'm sure That's he's jujitsu has fallen off a little bit relative to what it was when he was just jujitsu. Mm -hmm. Gilbert's athletic as shit. He can yeah. pass. He can go underneath. He's got a good guard. He can wrestle. He can do the whole nine yards. When I stand next to him, I have a hard time believing he ever made 155. It's shocking. Like he was really compromised. He's one of those guys that was really compromised at 155 because he's so thick. Like he's walking around well over 200 pounds. I mean, he's thick as fuck. Right. He seems and, like you know, thicker, and has thicker than Hamza, but Hamza is uh, zero tired. problem competing with guys like Tyron okay. Woodley at 170. Once he's a fucking monster, man. His striking is nasty too. That's what's interesting about Gilbert. Is that he is an elite ah, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, but his striking is fucking world class. That Woodley fight was an eye opener. Oh my god, dude, his striking's terrifying. It's really, really good. Right, and I mean, here's the thing about it. it's like, you know, I mean, can you imagine? It's like, what's your ace in the hole? Like, what's your thing you can go to if you need it? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're a world champion black belt. That's the thing you have if you need it because everything else is good enough to win Sheesh. a UFC title, yeah. that is fucking frightening. Yeah. Guy. If you don't want to stand with him, he's terrifying yeah. standing. By all I mean, cause he, he, and he could barrel down on Tyron because mm -hmm. it's like, I, I mean, maybe he'll fight the takedown if it's there, but right. probably not. Let's, let's think about this. So you have Colby, Kamaru, but all those guys in the top five, Gilbert is your biggest submission threat by a country mile. Oh, a country mile. Sheesh, you guys. Gilbert is your... <laughs> That's all I have to say. I still, I will bet my money on Hamza Chimaev. Like, if he beats Gilbert, you guys. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. 
anyways i'm super excited for the fight comment down below what you think thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye